Hi there and thanks for checking out my channel of Reflex Camera Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you the EOS 3000, a semi-professional single lens reflex camera for the amateur user brought to us by Canon in the years in the 90s. We just have a close look at the camera. I mounted a 35 to 80 millimeters lens on it, which was a common lens for this time and sold with this lens. We have uh, the normal face of the camera. Uh, we have here the main switch for the program. Then we have uh, here the main wheel, we have the button and we have two smaller buttons here and two smaller buttons here. We'll come to these buttons later on. Here we have got the button for the release of the lens. As with uh, almost every Canon EOS of this time and still today we have this wheel uh, with these different uh, program points. We have here the green window. This is the fully automatic program. We let the camera just get some idea and focus. We'll go to the 35 millimeters. We can see the camera suggests an aperture of 4.0 to the shutter speed of 45. This is the uh, green window program. That means it's uh, the fully automatic program just to take a shot without thinking about the information in the display. The camera is trying to fix everything you want to be fixed and get a good picture, sharp picture. As we can see here, this uh, is a red or inverted on red ground, a L, which means low battery consumption. This is just uh, the standby modus of the camera with the least battery consumptions. We have here, uh, as we turn it in this direction, the four different programs for special occasions. We have here the portrait program, the program for photographing landscape, the program for macro photography, and last but not least, the program for sports or fast moving objects. As we go on further on this, we get to the P, which means program automatic. Then we come to TV, which means there is a shutter speed given by the user and the camera tries to figure out which aperture is correct. As it blinks, you can see um, it's under exposed, so we would have to get a longer shutter speed, which of course I would only use with a stand for the camera. You couldn't hold that uh, by hand. The next program, AV, which is just the opposite of the TV program, which means we are giving a aperture and getting the time for it. The manual program is the only program where the camera does not try to get the best picture by suggesting something. You can fully manually switch both of these values to get uh, a result. And as you see, uh, if you get some other values, you see this is this photo would be overexposed. Um, this means that uh, the farther it goes to plus over exposure exposition and uh, the more it goes to the uh, the other end of the scheme 
uh, you will have a under exposure on the photo. So in this program, um, the camera will not manage it for itself. It's just suggesting again the right values, but shows if the values you have manually altered are good or not. The next program on our wheel is the depth program, which is the idea of the depth program is that there is an object you want to get on your photo uh, from the one side of the photo to the other side and you want to get a uh, depth sharp picture. Um, so the camera tries to fix the first point, set it to depth A, fix the second point, keep the button pressed and then if you're ready the camera tries to get the photo correctly. The next point is the self timer. Here you can switch the ISO, manually switch the ISO value, uh, which is normally not uh, necessary because as you can see, if we look inside the camera, we've of course, here you have the uh, electric pins for the ISO detection of the film. So the value will be set correct by the camera, but of course, during the time, the period um, the camera uh, was brought to the market, there were still films without the electronic ISO code, uh, so you could use them and go manually to the right value of the ISO. This one, okay, this is self-explaining, is the function to get the film back into its pattern. We will take a look at the front of the camera. The 3000 was a uh, model designed for the amateur photographer. It has the AF autofocus light here. I don't know whether we can see the light if we try to... Oh, we have got to go to the other program. For example, this one. And if the light is not now here, the light is good. But if the light is not correct, it yeah, would be the test by the autofocus light trying to enlighten the object and see how much flash power is necessary to get the right exposure of the photo. We can see here the flash is manually. So uh, on other models of uh, Canon EOS, it's going up automatically and going down automatically again, or only going up automatically and then press down. This one is fully manually. We have here the flash connector, which is the typical flash connector for Canon EOS cameras with the center point and those four little pins on the upper or the, the uh, down end of the flash. Here you can of course set your own uh, oculus on if you want that. We will take a look inside as you can see with almost all uh, cheaper EOS series cameras. This is made from plastic. The more expensive models have here a metal ring which of course is more or a better uh, for the hard use of changing lenses as the plastic. Uh, we have the eight contacts for the EOS EF series lenses. Um, you can almost combine every uh, EF lens with every EF EOS body. This is a simple uh, system and of course it's working quite good. We'll go get it on again. 
of course every lens has the possibility to change from autofocus to manually focus the batteries inside we just have another look inside at the film compartment of the camera this of course all is made from plastic one of the weak points again with almost every canon eos camera is this small bracket here there are um, of course there's the danger that this breaks so the camera won't close if you're looking to buy uh, some uh, eos camera just take a good look at this one if there's almost a crack in then i wouldn't buy it as you can see this is here the shutter i don't know whether we can take a look we'll just have a smart look inside as you can see it's trying to focus this is of course is quite complicated here on this table as you can see the shutter goes up and down just take a look at the other this one is for red eye reduction this is for the self timer this is the selective measurement so you can say the camera which point inside will give the right direction to the object this is uh, for example if you have um, the main object you want to get sharp on your picture is on the left side so the camera knows that you are going to have uh, or wish to have the left side sharpened. The EOS 3000 is a very handy light white camera uh, for the enthusiastic uh, analog photographer. Just a pick I would uh, like. It's a, a cheap camera today, um, but of course you can have a lot of fun with it. So. Uh, I hope you have a lot of fun and you have, of course, a lot of fun with my videos and I uh, would like uh, to thank you for watching and maybe you take a look at the other videos of photo cameras. Bye!